Supreme Court blanket ban on the sale of firecrackers in the capital city of the New Delhi, though could not stop many residents from bursting crackers, but did prevent air quality from worsening. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, the pollution levels in Delhi NCR are lower compared to the air quality recorded during last year. The air quality index value was 319, terming it very poor category. While the AQI last Diwali had touched several levels after recording an index value of 43. A very poor air quality index essentially means that the people may suffer from respiratory illness or prolonged exposure to such air. Delhi residents woke up to a hazy morning with air quality remain hazardous in many areas. These are the visuals from Vijay Chowk which is engulfed with smoke. This is next to the parliament. Use of crackers last night has also raised question marks on the efficacy of the administration in enforcing the apex courts ban and i am joined by an environmental expert mr ravi agrawal on on phone line with me so a lot of people are saying that despite the fact that you know uh, diwali was uh, not celebrated the way it was last year with full of uh, crackers but it hasn't made a huge dent in terms of improving the air quality. Uh, how do you explain it to our viewers uh, in context of uh, the firecrackers, pollution and the sort of index which is there in terms of air quality today, sir? I think the, uh, the I, uh, firstly there is uh, visible air pollution, but it is uh, since yesterday morning and today there is visibly higher air pollution for everybody to see. I think the important thing to realize is the ban was an experiment by the court to see if reducing or, uh, or uh, stopping the sale of firecrackers improve the air quality. And I think it's very clearly that we can see that there is a reduction from last year to this year in how bad the air quality becomes our post Diwali. So this is, shows that there is an impact if you reduce uh, or uh, the cracker burning uh, uh, or through sales or either through burning, then there will be improvements in quality. This is very heartening to know because it shows that if we take the right measures, we can improve the air quality of Delhi. It's within our uh, within our hands, and so I think the the the, um, the fact it's lower than last year is a fact which um, proves that the ban uh, of the court has been uh, effective. Uh, but then, sir, do, do you think that you know a couple of more? Uh Diwali's like this will make a difference at least in NCR or are you think that the ambit needs to increase spatially? Uh, I, I think we have to take a lot, bigger call on this. I think now we'll have to evaluate the data and see what kind of measures we need to put, put in place because there was a big hue and cry about the cultural significance of crackers. So we have to figure out ways in which we do it. But we do know that if we reduce crackers, then the air quality will not be as bad as before. So this data is really important. Uh, and the future steps have to be devised, uh, keeping this in mind. And it means that we'll have to take measures. It cannot be business as usual. Uh, it will require multiple measures and uh, either having, um, you know, less polluting crackers or, or maybe community crackers or different ways of doing it is one way to go about it. But it's, this is something which needs to be discussed now. So basically you're saying that we need a larger policy, larger mechanism when it comes to the country. It can't be city specific or only area specific. Yeah, because Delhi also has a specific problem of how in winter the air gets trapped. It's not the same in Bombay and in Calcutta. So I think uh, each location will have to have some specifics of its sources and how to control those sources. But uh, generally overall we are uh, reducing the vehicle air pollution. We need to do better traffic planning. That goes without saying across uh, all the metro cities where, you know, there's congestion everywhere. But uh, in each of them, we'll have to figure out a specific source and, and reduce the sources of those. So it is both um, uh, the uh, general approach, but uh, but metered with, uh, with a specific approach. Also, as you can see, we have a much better scientific basis now. We have now air quality monitor monitoring stations in Delhi, I think there are nine of them, and there are another 11 of them coming, so we have 20 of them. So with increased data, we'll be able to better manage it. So the scientific approach is going to help us uh, in, in the future. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Agarwal.
Now, let's get you some reality check on the air quality in Tamil Nadu. The air quality has dipped in. The latest civic problem plaguing the city of Chennai is waste management. Unscientific dumping of waste in hundreds of acres of land in the city is wreaking havoc. Revati Ranjan from Chennai reports. I'm standing at Besanagar, a residential area in Chennai, and we are looking at the pollution levels before and after the Pauli. As you can see right behind me, uh, the air seems very clear. It seems like there is not much pollution that has been caused uh, uh, due to Diwali, due to bursting off crackers. You can see the remains of firecrackers that have been scattered across uh, the street. But the numbers from the Pollution Control Board say, tell us that there has been a significant uh, increase in the level of PM10, particulate matter 10, which, is, which are matters, which are pollutants that are less than 10 millimeters in diameter, which can go up till your lungs. Now, let, let's look at the numbers from the Pollution Control Board. The PM10 pre Diwali was at 62 micrograms per cubic meter of air, as you can see here, and that has increased to 387 after the Diwali. The normal limit of for uh, PM10 is just 100 micrograms per cubic meter, so there has been uh, an increase of up to three times more after the Diwali. So even as you see, uh, it seems like the air is clear, uh, the street where people uh, come for their morning walks every day. The numbers from the Pollution Control Board reveals that there has been a significant increase in pollution uh, after the Diwali due to bursting off crackers. This means that, uh, this indicates that uh, the ban in Delhi NCR region has perhaps not had any impact in Chennai city. The only impact uh, when we spoke to customers earlier was uh, due to GST and due to rains. That was the only deterrent for people uh, for buying crackers. But as far as celebrating Diwali with crackers are concerned, the numbers have only increased even as compared to 2016. With video journalist Ram Rifti Rajivan in Chennai for Beyond.